Hey guys, set you ID here. I've got a cool little trick I'm going to show you. It's uh, sort of a Zwift hack of the day. I've got Zwift here on my application desktop on my Android phone. I'm going to go ahead and launch Zwift. It's going to show up just like it normally would. No surprises there. You can see the rider list. You can scroll through that rider list. You can pop any rider in and you can take a look at their data. Um, it will pair up to my bike sensors in a moment because I've got Zwift running. There we go. I've got Zwift running on my desktop. So now it's paired up. The phone is connected to the Zwift application. And I can scroll through and I can see my buttons and I can see the rider list and everything looks normal. But uh, let's just turn this this way. And now I've got it in landscape mode. So I can scroll through and I can pop open a rider and I can take a look at their data. I can scroll through that. I can go upside down. I can go landscape again. Whatever I want. Let's go back to those buttons. And you can see that those buttons are actually kind of auto-scaled, so they're sized correctly and they all fit on the same screen. And I can go back to my own ride data, and I can see my ride data all on the same screen as well. Or, you know, I can go back to portrait. I can go back to those action screen and see my buttons. Or maybe go this way. Whatever I want. I can go to the rider list. It's all there. Portrait, landscape, upside down, right side, it doesn't matter. So that's my cool Zwift hack of the day. Hope you like it. Right on.